Hello there, welcome back. Yes, 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 good. You guys are liking, uh, commenting, and uh, doing a lot of great job sharing the word of God and uh, Brother or Christian Princess and David with uh, videos. Thank you very much for that. And for those who supported me, uh, I want to thank you in the name of Christ Jesus. May he bless you more abundantly as you support us. Yes, uh, that's very important. And today I'm going to talk about Dr. Amraphel or Bart or man. Dr. Amraphel. Why did I say, is that his real name? No, his real name is Dr. Bart Arman, but I call him Amraphel. I uh, hereafter remember this name, Amraphel. What's Amraphel? Why, I, why did I call him Amraphel? Why, uh, why I named him uh, Amraphel? All right, let's go and do dive and investigation. For those who want to study the Bible and who want to the truth, uh, the truth to be told, and you want to hear uh, about the truth, the true nature of the Bible, just stick with me, with me, and open your Bibles and study. That is the only thing you need: the Bible, and the Bible, and the Bible. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. So, let's go and see what is Amraphel means in the Bible. Um, Amraphel is, um, is found in the book of Genesis, uh, chapter 14. It came to pass in the days of Amraphel, king of Shinar, Ariok, king of Elisar, Keralaomer, king of Elam, Elam, and Tidal, king of nations. Now, this is Amraphel. This is, Amraphel is the name of the kingdom, the king of uh, Shinar, which is Babylon. As you know in the Bible, Babylon is the arch enemy of God and God's people. All the time, you see, even in the, in the, bo in the book of Revelation, in the you know the final battle is Babylon, seventeen, eighteen, se uh, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and twenty, twenty-one. Read it. It's about Babylon. Babylon is a kingdom of wickedness and the kingdom of darkness. So he's a, the 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 king, the first king mentioned in in in, in Genesis. His name is Amraphel. What's Amraphel means? There are two Greek Hebrew words, rather, and Amraphel, sires of darkness. Sires of darkness, a one who speaks in the darkness. The one who speaks in the darkness. You don't see him. You don't understand from his face because when we speak, our gesture, our gesture, and our uh, smile, uh, smiling, or am I smiling or not? Or, you know, when is, we speak, we, you know, look to, to my lips, they call it. Look to my lips, whether it is honest or not. Because our lips express, our face express, our hand, our eyes, our head express whatever we desire. But this Amraphel, he is a speaker of the darkness. You cannot see him. You can't see him. That's the devil. This is archetype of the devil. Sire of darkness. Fall of the sire can be said towards. A fell, fell can be, uh, for example, nafal is to fall. It's a Hebrew word. This is the same root. So, uh, uh, fall of the sair. He speaks, he himself is fallen. He speaks to others, but he is fallen. He's fallen. And this man is the same thing. Amraphel. Dr. Bart Arman is, he is uh, the fallen man. A man fallen and 
he speaks to the people who are in darkness. Now, let me show you his book. So, uh, in the near future, we are going to deal. This is misquoting Jesus. Misquoting Jesus is, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, I don't know, $14, you know. He, he makes a lot of money. And he is almost five star. 2,031 people rated him like the best. Why? Why? In America, you can write something. You can say a man is not a man, but he is a woman, and put some kind of, you know, <laughs> humor to it. You add some jokes to it. They like it. That's it. The only thing they remember, the American, these people who read, even the Christians, is the jokes. That is what makes sense. It's like you give them uh, 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 honey and then a uh, poison, and then they test the honey, and there is a big poison. Still, what they remember is the, the, the honey, not the, the poison. Oh, it's delicious. Oh man, it is, it is, it is, um, it is poisoned. No, I like the honey. That is American Christianity. They read and some, they got some fun, something causes you to laugh. Then you read that book, uh, uh, um, uh, five star, five star. Now let's go and investigate this book. I am going to next in, in, in the near future, I'm going to take this misquoting Jesus and uh, debunk his lies. I, ha I started all already. Uh, you can go back and watch some of the, the program. So you Christians, equip yourself and defend the gospel of Christ. Defend the gospel of Jesus Christ from such liars and deceivers. And now let, let's see. Let's, let's see. Um, Bartarman, um, you cannot tell when he, 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 he stands. You can't tell. He changes now and then. I, I watch his interviews. I, wa I read his books. Uh, when I was especially uh, reading as a, uh, I, w I was working as a printer uh, uh, um, uh, in a very big uh, printing uh, company, um, uh, you know, um, I was checking his book all the time and I was reading because I can pick up and read any book and then put it back. And then uh, we check the quality of the book, the color, the uh, saturation, and, uh, and and if there is any any kind of deforming, uh, deformed or cut or something, we take out, check the, the pages. So uh, as uh, the machine prints, a big mach machine, uh, as it prints, we do uh, that. So I studied a lot of things, and that what I'm bringing to to you. So now here is they say, but the synoptic, synoptic gospel presents a divine Jesus. He he, he had uh, interviewed with other people. He, he said never Jesus never been in the synoptic. They call it synoptic himself. It's synoptics. But I don't believe there is a, a gospel which is called synoptics. These are Mark, Luke, and uh, Matthew. They call them synop synop synoptics. That, but we Christians, we don't we don't consider that. Those people who assign them, they have no idea. It is the word of God. Mark is the word of God. Matthew is the word of God. John is the word of God. Everything that the gospel is equally important. They are equal. Each word, each verse, one word shall not pass away. The Lord said. But this man, he was a religious, uh, a, a Catholic. And then from Catholic, he jumped from religion to religion. He loves to study about religion. Religion. But in the Bible, there is nothing about religion. Nothing. In the whole Bible. From Genesis, from Genesis, from the beginning of Genesis till the last book of Revelation, there is nothing that religion can play. Nothing. The word of God, God is not a, man, a God of religion. He is a man, a, 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 a God of faith. Faith, our relationship with him is 
believing, listening and listening and listening and listening and believing in his word. So he, he used to say, no, the synoptic gospels, they never say about Jesus. No, 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 no. And then when they, um, uh, when they discuss with him and then when they caught him, he changed his, his, his view. Because sometimes, you, you, uh, as you know, previously, as I said, one of the, uh, you know, uh, his uh, debate, I just uh, uh, sign up and then listen to him. And he's, he's just babbling. He talks about religion. There is no something in the Bible uh, called religion. No, no religion. No religion. The Bible is a carefully crafted book which is God in 1,000, more than 1,000 years designed and presented to us. There is no religion. Religion will never play anything in the kingdom of God. Never. Religion is, is a, the, the, uh, Satan, uh, the devil's uh, organization. We don't believe in a religion. We believe in God. We believe we are the children of God. The father and children relationship is not through religion, but by the work of Jesus Christ. But this man, since he was addicted from his childhood, that Catholic religion and having all kind of crazy teaching, now he is vomiting that. Is vomiting to these people with some funny things and then poison it and kill the people. Now, now let me how 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 he changed his uh, his mind. In doing so, my research he always research research about what this is this is Bat Arman. What research research about uh -huh, religion research and thinking harder and harder. Oh, about the issue when I a came to realize the gospels not only attributed to these things to him to whom to Jesus, but also understood him to be adopted as a son of God at his baptism. No, that's not at the, at his baptism. It's not at at, at his baptism. He's, he's, that's what his, his understanding is poor. Or to have been made the son of God by the virtue of the fact that God was literally his father in that it was the spirit of God that made the Virgin Mary pregnant. Looks, and he's, how, how what a pure understanding. Realize it, be realize, realized what adoption means to people in the in Roman world. As indicated in the previous post, I finally yielded. What did he say? After he deceived so many people, so many Americans, after he deceived millions, hundreds of thousands of people, I finally yielded these Gospels, the, which are the synoptic Gospels. Do indeed think of Jesus as divine. Being made the very son of God who can heal, cast out demons, raise the dead, pronounce divine forgiveness, receive worship together. Suggests that even for the gospels, these gospels, what are these gospels? Luke, Mark, and uh, uh, Matthew, the synaptics, he's, he called them. Even for this, Gospels, Jesus was a divine being, not merely human, but in different sense from John. Ah, come on, this is what Bart Arman is believing. He has been telling lies, 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 and now he's telling us, aha, uh -huh. oh, I'm sorry, I did a research. What? Your research? I did the research. Okay. Bart Arman. Okay. Department of Bart Arman. Look, all this 
a tribute to Bart Armanus, me quote Jesus, misquoting Jesus. Okay, uh, Bart Arman. Let let me say, let, uh, book is by Bart Arman. Book is by Bart Arman. Let's see. All this deception, heaven, heaven and hell is a, is is a lie. Uh, all this is how Jesus became God is a lie. This is a teaching. Now, after he deceived all this, these people, these people, they give him five stars, yeah? but they don't know. He's telling them, oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, now I understood. Sorry, sorry, now I understood it. I did the research. Jesus interrupting hidden contradiction in the Bible. Now, because he's in a triumph Christianity, how forbidden religion swept the world. He, he, he made a whole lot of a journey to heaven and hell. Bart Arman. He's a liar, a liar, a liar, a liar, a liar, a liar. Jesus before the Gospels. How the earliest Christian remembered, changed, invented the story of so, so Jesus be, before he became God. Now he's telling us when they caught him, oh, I'm sorry. I finally yielded. Can you imagine? This is a prophet Muhammad. He's a prophet Muhammad. He's a the deceiver. The deceiver. Now you can you can you can visit this site and then learn about him. Be, I think it is the Catholics who who brought it. Bishop Encyclopedia Religion Society and Philosophy. Bart Arman. Search with this one. You can see and you can hear that that he he cannot. Even the Catholics they they made him you know they caused him to believe. They corrected him after he deceived the whole people of America and the Western world. He is the sayer of the darkness. Now, what let, let me say that is this is his book. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, what is the misquoting Jesus? We are going to see the misquoting Jesus. Misquoting Jesus. We are going to investigate and debunk this devilish liar. Yes. We will show you that he is nothing but a scam. A scam. Now let's read. These bri brief factors about Jews and their written text are important because they set the backdrop of Christianity, which was also from the very beginning a bookish, bookish, a bookish religion. Christianity began, of course, with Jesus, who himself was a Jew rabbi, teacher, who accepted the authority of the Torah, the authority of the Torah. What are the Torah? The five Muslim books of Moses. Because you know some Hebrew and then you know that you can deceive people. The Torah is five books of Moses. Possibly some other uh, sacred Jewish books. Does Jesus accept any sacred Jewish books except from the Bible? Except the Bible, the Old Testament? Is that true? No. No. And taught his interpretation of the book to his disciples. Okay, let me, let me, let me show you. Other, other books. No, Jesus believed the whole Bible, the whole Old Testament book in its entirety. Now, let me tell you. Luke 24, uh, 44. Luke, the Gospel of Luke 24. And he said unto them, this is a King James, these are the words which I spoke unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, the Torah, and in the, in the prophets, in the prophets, perhaps, perhaps means, you know, uh, maybe, 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 he, he, maybe. That's how the devil deceives people. Bring this confusion because he's in darkness. Moses, and in the prophets, and in Psalms concerning me. So, Jesus here approves what? The Torah, as he said, the Torah, 
Okay? And then the prophets. And in the Psalms, it's concerning me. The Psalm of David. Other sacred books. There is no sacred book apart from the Bible. They have the Talmud. They have their own Jewish. Jewish people have their own, you know, uh, false books from which Muhammad took and then destroyed them, created the Quran, the Mishnah, and others. The Sandrin, the Mishnah, the Mishnah, Mishnah for uh, 25, I think. Huh? The, he, he took it and then he put it in the Quran. I can show you a lot from the Jewish book. Jesus believes. You have to put in the right perspective. Do not lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Perhaps. Perhaps. Okay. Um, we, we, can, we can show um, some others. Uh, look. Uh, all this took place to fulfill what the Lord had is okay. The Son of Man must suffer many things, he said. He must be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes, and he must be killed and on the third day be raised, as it was written. This is written that he shall be, he shall, he shall be killed. Go and read Isaiah 53. Yeah, Isaiah 53. Yeah. Then Jesus took the twelve side aside and said to them, Look, we are going up to Jerusalem and everything. The prophets have written about the Son of Man will be fulfilled. Who written? The prophets, other, other, other. He is a religious, bogus, religious. This man is sick of religion and he knows nothing about the Bible. He knows nothing. And he said to them, These are the words which I spoke unto you while I was yet with you, uh, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets in the Psalm. Uh, concerning me. So, Jesus. You just read. Read about Jesus in the New Testament. It's a whole lot fulfilled. It was fulfilled. What was written about him in the Bible. In the whole Bible. In the Old Testament. But this man, Amraphel, the speakers of the darkness, twists it and he says, perhaps... Perhaps the Torah and perhaps, perhaps, yeah. He doesn't do his, he, 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 he does his homework because he's deceiving. He's a deceiver. Thank you for watching. We'll continue. The reason I did a little by a doctor is a DR is because his doctor is, is, is a doctor of, like the Prophet Muhammad, prophet of nothing. Prophet without prophecy. Is a Muhammad, the prophet Muhammad, a prophet without prophecy, and this man is a man of great stature without any substance, without clue. He jumped from religion to religion, from religion to religion, and now everybody says, "I was enlightened by Doctor Abart Arman, misquoting Jesus." Now I'm going to show you in the coming days that this man is a scam. May the Lord richly bless you. Have a wonderful night. And I advise you to study the Bible. Bye-bye.